Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series Voyager Class Mixmaster. So here he is in his uh, cement truck mode, and I think he looks pretty dang good. Um, unfortunately, this piece on mine broke off, but that's because um, when I was moving, I uh, bumped my shelf, and Devastator took a took a fall. So um, there is another piece that's broken. It's on Scavenger. It's it's just a tiny tab. So it's not like a big significant part, but yeah, it is a little broken on mine. But again, that's just because he fell off the shelf. So uh, pr just pretend that that's there for the review. But um, <laughs> other than that, uh, he looks pretty good in his uh, cement truck mode. Uh, the hands sticking out the side here don't bother me at all. I mean, it is what it is. But um, got nice uh, silver here for the uh, for the drum, and then just got like a silver color here for the for the windows. So and got some silver here for the rims and this wheel here. So, overall, I think he looks really uh, pretty dang good in his uh, cement truck mode. So, um, he can roll as he's supposed to. Uh, the drum doesn't move at all just because of how it transforms. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care, but yeah, it doesn't roll at all. Or it doesn't move at all. But, that is about it for... Oh, and you do have the, um, the little hood ornament right there. So, there's that. <laughs> so, um... As far as vehicle mode goes, though, that is about it. So uh, now we will just get down to uh, combined mode. So first thing that you want to do is take this whole front section and rip it off. And then just set that off to the side. And you can see that's where Devastator's face is at. So you want to take this section, raise this up, come in here, take these sections, bring these pieces out. And then come in here and bring out the Devastator face and then flip out these red panels in here, bring this down, and tap in the face. And there you have Devastator's very, very beautiful, beautiful mug. And then you're gonna want to, um, well, let's see, what do you wanna do? Now I guess you can just come to the uh, back here and split all of this because you're gonna need to, so take that and then you want to take the legs from under here and split these like so then you can bring these down and then you actually can leave this all tabbed in like so and then you're going to want to take the legs here and accordion them out and then the feet here are going to tab into a little notch right in there you want to take it and tab it in like so you're going to do the same thing here bring this out and take it and tab that in like so and then you're actually gonna want to i actually missed a step oops my bad you're actually gonna want to untab the uh the bucket from up here and then take this section and angle it out and around and you're gonna want to take the hands here and bring these down and then take the the drum pieces and angle them down like so and then you're going to take this this section flip that back and then you want to take this and bring that back like so and then you can go ahead and tab in all of these the feet underneath here like so and then you can kind of finagle and get this all lined or straightened back up like so now this is per the instructions this is the official way to do it. I don't do it this way. I do it a different way. And I'll show um, both ways that I personally like to do it. But this is, uh, again, per the instructions. So, But yeah, this is his, um, his head mode. Uh, as you can see, again, here's Devastator's very beautiful face. Like, the, you got, you know, red and green for the eyes and silver here for the teeth. So, and you can open the mouth all the way. So, you got that going on. And, uh, yeah, that is about it for the head mode. Um, so I guess now we'll just get down to, uh, robot mode. So, I guess you can just take the face here and, un or tab it back, or untab it, and then flip it all back in. Bring it back, flip these panels in, flip that down, bring this down. And then you want to take this and, uh, plug this back in like so. Then can come to the back here, untab all of this, 
And then you can split the arms up here and bring the arms out. Then want to take the legs, bring them down and angle the feet like so. Then want to take the whole torso section and angle this back and then tab it in to the back like so. And then you can come in here and bring up the head. You then want to bring these sections up and take these and rotate them up like so. So you have something that looks like that. And then you want to take this back section and raise this up so you have the little canisters that he had in the back. You want to come to the arms, rotate them around, you then want to, actually no, wait. Yeah, you want to rotate the arms, rotate them around, and then, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I had that right. You then want to come to the arms here, take them and bring that section back. Or you do want to rotate them around. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. You want to take the drum piece, rotate that down like that, and then you can bring down the arm like so. And then you want to take, oh, let me raise up the camera a little bit. Then you want to take this section and you can just angle it back like so. And there you have his arms all done. And then, yeah, you do want to rotate this around and then bring it down. Take this drum, flip it over the arm, put the hands down, and then take this and bring it around like so. And there you have Mixmaster all transformed and in his robot mode. And I think he looks pretty good. Um, very, um, I, I do like how he turned out. I think he does look pretty, pretty dang cool. So getting close here, up on the head sculpt. Nice silver, black for the face, got the red eyes. And then overall, I just really like the uh, the like mechanical detail all throughout. So yeah, I think he's pretty, pretty dang cool. And then of course on the back here, you just have the Devastator, you know, you just have this, because obviously this is the Devastator face. So yeah, this is gonna end up on the back anyways. But overall, I really do like how he turned out. So as far as articulation goes, the head is on a hinge joint, and it's also on a ball joint, so you can kind of do what you want. The arms can rotate as far as, you got like a butterfly joint here, um, it does have a bicep swivel, can go in and out. He does have a elbow joint, and uh, the fingers can go up and down. Uh, nothing at the waist, the legs go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out, you got a thigh swivel, you got over or a little bit of over nine degrees of bend at the knee and the feet just move up and down so that um unfortunately on mine the legs are a little loose so it is sometimes kind of a pain to get him standing up but i don't know if that's just my copy or if it's anybody else's but that does seem to be an issue sometimes so as far as comparison here we have uh, studio series mix master and then here we have the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Mixmaster. And out of the two, here's, here's my opinion, or here's my thoughts. He is more movie accurate, and I like that. But I also have a soft spot for this guy. I just, I don't know. I just really like this figure. I mean, they're both very, very solid figures in my opinion. They're both very good figures in my opinion. I like his uh, cement truck mode more. And I like the fact that you can turn him into the, you know, his uh, turret that he had in the movie. But also he turns into, into um, uh, obviously the Devastator head. So I, I think both figures are good. I think it just, it's, it's down to personal preference. Um, you know, he's more movie accurate. And I'm not saying he's not movie accurate, but, you know, looking between the two, his colors are more, you know, what we saw in the movie. And... Uh, I guess if I had to choose between the two, I can't really answer that. I mean, I think I'd pick this guy, but that's just because I'm a sucker for the Revenge of the Fallen line, and I would rather have a Revenge of the Fallen figure than a Studio Series figure, I guess. Well, actually, that that, that depends on the figure, but I just... I, they're both, like I said, they're both really good figures, and I really can't choose between which one I like more, because this one, in my opinion, has more articulation especially in his arms, and it is a little bit more solid, in my opinion. But this figure is also very solid, and he just looks great in his robot mode, and is a little more movie accurate. So, it, 
it's just kind of a toss-up, I guess. I mean, I, I, I don't know. But I, like I said, I think both are really good figures, and I do recommend, you know, I do recommend both. So we'll get him out of the way, and now we'll bring in his Constructicon buddies. So we got Long Haul, got Scrapper, got Scrap Metal, got High Tower, and you got Skip Jack, and let me get this mix master out of the way. So you can see how the team is shaping up. And again, they look very, very good. I absolutely love how they all look. So let me get these guys out of the way. Yeah, come here, out of the way. Get out, get out of the way. So yeah, um, as far as Studio Series Mixmaster goes, I really do like him. I, I think he's a very, very solid figure. I like how all of his modes look. Um, I just, like I said, choose, I guess I've had people ask me, you know, well, which one do you like more? Do you like the Revenge of the Fallen one more? Or do you like the Studio Series more? And I think both figures have their own um, pluses and minuses. I just, it really comes down to personal preference. I, I, I really don't want to choose one over the other. But like I said, if I have to, I choose the Revenge of the Fallen one simply just because it's from the revenge of the fallen line i just it's just the line that i grew up with i had all those toys when i was a kid and i just i'm a real big sucker for the revenge of the fallen figures but again that doesn't mean this figure is bad by any means this is a very very solid figure and it's a very very good quality figure so that's going to be about it for my review of the transformer studio series voyager class mixmaster uh thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and have a good one